Hey everyone, Tom here from the Blue Root team. Coming today with a video actually on something that comes up a lot and I think it was about time and really looked out there, there was, has, there's not a ton of great content on it. So I think it's definitely long overdue. And what that is, is the Zoho CRM app. So this video at least is just about getting started, how to install it, how to log in, how to get your data in there, and then how to navigate some basics of the different data, your dashboards, how to interact, how to do some of the those, like I said, basic functions. We'll probably do some more advanced ones later if this one gets a lot of traction, but we'll start with the basics for now. If you like this content, you know, we do this for you guys, the community. All we ask in return is that you throw in the comments if you have them, give us a like, it really means a lot. And the ultimate we can ask for, of course, is subscribe. It helps our channel and hopefully helps you stay up to date with all these Zoho type things. Also, if you did want to chat with one of us or a member of our team, there is an office hours link in the description. Feel free to click that, join our office hours. It's a great way to get to know us. So enjoy the video. Again, any comments, let us know. Thanks so much. This is a quick video to show exactly how you can uh, download and install the Zoho CRM app. So really it's pretty straightforward to start. You just go here and we're gonna download Zoho CRM. Sales and marketing is gonna be the one that we do. And then you can see maybe there's some ads up here, but this is the one that we're interested in. So you can click on it, you can see the ratings, all that sort of stuff. It is a free app. I already have it downloaded. And so I could just hit open right there. If I didn't have it downloaded, then I'd have to do that then. But now since it's already in there, I could just hit open and it brings me into here. So that's pretty much it. Um, what I'm gonna do quickly is I'm gonna pause. I'll show you what it looks like to log in. And so now if I come back over here, this is what it's actually going to look like if you hadn't logged in already. So you can see some interesting things here. Uh, we'll go through these probably in the video, but really the big things. This is a good one, context on map, um, some notifications, of course, and you know personalization. So we'll go through a lot of these things here, but I'm just going to hit sign in. And then it just takes me to my normal, just ignore that limit here, my normal Zoho sign in page. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Next, and then I'm going to sign in here. So just give me one sec while I get my password. If I go over here, I've logged in. You can see where actually where it wants me to log in. So I can actually access my sandboxes here. I honestly can't think of a use case of why I do that. So I recommend just going to production and then it's gonna download your data. So it's usually pretty quick to do this. We'll just let this load and then we can explore some of the basics. So that's it, we're in, these are the basics. And so you can see right on your homepage, really it's actually very activity focused, uh, specifically your day. I really like it. I can kind of see my days of the week I can very quickly um, go to each day or I can scroll to next week. And for any given day, maybe the 30th here, I can see what's going on. So I can see I have a marketing check in at four and a one-on-one -on -one at 445, no tasks for the day. Um, and it also is very easy to just come in here and maybe say, okay, well, I got this new task to do that's got to be done by the 30th and you can see when it shows up there and maybe I've done it and it's very easy to just check that off and it shows it as completed beyond that what you can see along the bottom are going to be some of your quick uh, links so I can see my feeds what's going on in the CRM at any given time so this is very much so like the feeds on the desktop version I can go to messages so I can see uh, basically all new emails again this is very much so like the notifications or the messages in the top right corner of your desktop version of the CRM. And then dashboards, this is actually really uh, impressive. So this would be related to the dashboards or analytics in your CRM. And you can see how I can click on any one of these. Let's try, you know, the deal dashboard. I click in and I can see a bunch of information about what's going on in the CRM. Really, really nice actually, uh, the mobile version of the, the dashboards. And then, you know, when you look here, maybe say, okay, where are all my clients? Where are all my deals? That sort of thing. It's actually in the hamburger, as I call it, in the bottom right corner there, I just hit more. And then you can see it's gonna be a full list of all the different modules that you have in your CRM. They're all gonna be listed here with these different icons. Most of them have fancy icon at the top. And as I get into here, these are my custom modules with the C on them. And, you know, I can always just click on any one of these, hit accounts, and I can see a full list of all those accounts there. Um, and then that's the same with deals and all that sort of um, 
all those different modules. Um, if there's anything that I'm looking for specifically though, and I don't want to scroll through it, I can in the top right corner, hit that magnifying glass and search for something. And you can see it's a pretty good search. It's the Zia search. Um, so I'm going to do that. And I think you know I've got a good time testing here. And this is a really good profile to show you, okay, a typical record, what it looks like in the CRM. So I've got Tom testing here. I'm just going to go through some of the basics. So on the first page, what you're going to see here is notes, of course, calls, and then these are going to start being my related lists. So you can see, I can see attachments, even those tasks, like on the home page, I can create a brand new one by hitting that plus button on the right there and I can type something in. Um, and then as I'm going through all these different types of related lists. Emails, this is actually cool and so I can actually see all my emails sent or received to this particular client right here. I can toggle the filter so there's, you can see kind of right above the first email on the right there, there's like these little dials, like lines with circles. If I click that, it can kind of choose, okay, who am I going to do it for? And maybe I do all users and I can see a slightly different view there. And then finally, uh, the last one here. And if I click on one of these, by the way, I can open it up, I can see it. And I can even, if I want to see in the top right corner, I could actually reply. So I can actually have conversations right in the app, which is, which is pretty cool. And then finally details. So this is gonna be just like the actual data for the record. So it has kind of like a consolidated view here um, where you can see kind of the key information. It does its best to try and show, serve up the most important information, but you can always scroll to the bottom and you see at the bottom here, show all fields. And this is gonna be exactly similar to what's in your desktop version. So you can see all that information there. And then finally in the top right corner, there is that pencil. If I click the pencil, then I can actually edit any of these fields. Again, it kind of tries to show me the key fields, but I can also just hit that show all fields and edit just about anything that I want here. And, you know, for example, click in here. And it's actually a really nice interface to kind of choose these drop down options or whatever it might be. So that's kind of it. That's how you can navigate it. The last thing that I would just talk about in the particular record is everything that's at the bottom here. So there's, you can see I can, uh, there's a envelope, a little checkpoint, a map and a phone. And actually over here, I can see there's a couple more things here too. So these are just kind of like, if you go into the top right corner in your desktop, those three extra dots, it's like what's going on here. So I can do some things here. I could delete the record. Um, I could review the history of the record, which is not available right now. But these other ones here, I'm gonna talk about probably in the later videos. Really what they are really quickly is the first starting at the left is composing a brand new email. So you can choose who to send it to. This would be checking in. So if you wanna do like a location-based check-in, you could do that. This here would be mapping to this particular person's address. So if you have to go visit them, you can do that. And then finally, this phone here is that if I click, it's click to call. So I can actually click in and I can call this client. So we'll show you those in more details in later videos, but those are really powerful features, kind of nice um, utilities on this particular contact. So that's pretty much it. That's the very kind of quick overview of this mobile app. There's obviously many things to it, but hopefully that gives you a good starting point. Thanks.